In this video, I'm going to show you how to make graphs and charts in Google Sheets. So in this example, we're going to create a simple column chart. And off to the left, you can see that in columns A and B, we have a list of product names and the amount of money that each one of these products has earned. And what we want to do is create a column chart to represent this data. And so what we're going to do is recreate this chart that's shown right here. So first of all, I'm going to select the range that contains the data that I want to connect to my chart, which in this case is the range A1 through B7. Then I'm going to click Insert and then click Chart. Now if you want, there's also a button on the top toolbar that has this symbol. But for this video, I'm going to go ahead and stick with clicking Insert and then Chart. So as you can see, Google Sheets has automatically given us a pie chart, which is not the chart that we wanted, but that's okay. So the first thing that I'm going to do is resize the chart and then move it. So the chart has already been selected, and you can see the blue lines around the chart indicating that it's selected. And I'm going to drag my cursor into one of the corners until the double set of diagonal arrows appears. Click my mouse, hold the click, and then I'm going to shrink the chart a little bit. Now I'm going to click and move the chart to where I want it to be. So when you insert a chart, the chart editor will automatically be opened. But just to make sure that you know how to edit a chart, all you have to do is double click on a chart and then the chart editor opens. So the first thing that we want to do is change the chart type to a column chart. And so I'm going to click the drop down under the setup tab where it says chart type. Then I'm going to scroll down and then I'm going to click column chart. So now our column chart has been created, but as you can see, the default formatting is pretty plain. So a really easy way to edit charts is to click on the element that you want to edit while the chart editor is open. And so I'm going to click on the title and as you can see, the Customize tab has already opened, and the Chart and Access Titles menu has also opened. And I'm going to change the title text to Product Sales. Then I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to change the title format to bold. I'm going to center the title. I'm going to change the title text color to black. Now I'm going to click on the Vertical Axis title. I'm going to scroll down, make it bold, and then change the text color to black. I'm going to do the same thing for the horizontal axis title. I'm going to click on it, click bold, change the text color to black, and then I'm going to repeat this process for the vertical axis values and the horizontal axis values. I'm really not sure why Google Sheets inserts text by default that's so light colored and hard to see. And so I change everything to bold and black. And often I make it a little bit bigger. But again, here I'm just kind of rushing through this. Now what I want to do is change the colors of the columns themselves to red. And so I'm going to click on one of the columns. And this opens up the series menu. And soon I'll show you what it's like to have a chart with multiple series. But here we only have one series. I'm going to change the color to red. And now one more thing that I'm going to do is add data labels to this chart because I want to see the exact dollar amount that each of these columns represents. So while I'm still in the series menu, I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to check the box that says data labels. And then I'm going to scroll down and click bold. And so data labels are now showing me the exact dollar amount that each of these columns represents and our column chart looks much better. Now there's actually another way that you can connect your data to a chart other than selecting a range of cells before inserting the chart. And so if you open up the chart editor under the setup tab, under the data range field, here's where you can enter the range of cells that contains the data that you want to connect to your chart. And so if you want to, you can insert a chart first and the chart will be blank and then you can specify the range of cells that you want to connect to your chart, again, here in the data range field. 
and you would simply type the data range, such as A1 colon B7.